Hello and welcome to this Key Stage 3 biology video on pollution in food chains. Don't forget to grab the work along sheet from the description below if you want to make some notes along with the video. But for now we're looking at pollution in food chains linked to this key term which is bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation. And we're going to figure out exactly what that is and how it works. But before we begin that, let's take a very quick look at some background information about this. So a very quick look at some background information. And this is to do with food production. So food is grown by farmers. And here we're mainly talking about food crops, like for example in this picture shown here. So we've got some crops being grown and what is going on here is that some insecticide is being sprayed on the crops. Insecticide kills insects or kills certain types of insects and that means if we kill those insects that eat that crop there's going to be more crops for humans. More crops for humans. We say there is a higher crop yield. So linking that with our topic of bioaccumulation and pollution in food chains, let's see what is going on. So here are our crops. These are grown for food. Our crops grown for food. And as we saw, we could spray insecticide, which I've shown as those red dots. Spray insecticide on those crops to kill any insects that might eat the crops. So this is our insecticide. And that kills insects that kills insects. Now that's all well and good in one way but what can happen at some point is we get some uh, rainfall. So we get some rainfall which falls on the field where the crops are, where the insecticide is and what can happen is that rain can end up washing the insecticide into water. That insecticide can be washed into water. Now by water we mean rivers or lakes. So the insecticide is washed into water and this could be either rivers, lakes or even the ocean in fact as well. That could happen as well. So there it goes off into the waterway, the river or the lake there. Now what could possibly happen there? Well let's take a look and see. This is taking place in the lake. For example a lake or the river this is what's happening. So we have a certain type of living thing called algae which we've looked at in previous videos and that algae can take up some of that insecticide. That algae is going to be eaten by a type of living thing called plankton. Plankton, this is a type of living thing that eats the algae. That plankton is also food for other living things though so it's got the insecticide in its bodies or in their bodies and the plankton will be eaten by some small fish. Here's our small fish. And then they are going to get the insecticide in their bodies. These small fish in turn could possibly be eaten by some bigger fish. So there's a bigger fish. Let's just move it down a bit. There's a bigger fish that eats the smaller fish. And as you can see, there is now even more of that insecticide in the body of that bigger fish and that can actually lead to the death of that bigger fish because so much of that insecticide has collected along the food chain. So let's make a note of what has happened. After the insecticide has been washed into the water we get small amounts of insecticide in this example in each alga. Alga is singular, algae is plural. So we get small amounts in each alga. The plankton will eat lots of algae. They'll eat lots of algae each. We then have the small fish. The small fish eat lots of the plankton. So the small, fish, the small fish eat lots of the plankton. Then we get the bigger fish. 
which eat lots of the small fish. Big fish eat lots of the small fish. So I just need a bit more space there, so just move that out of the way. So the final point to make here is that the insecticide accumulates, accumulates, that means collects, as we go up the food chain. Insecticide accumulates up the food chain. And that can cause damage to the animals at the higher end of the food chain. This is called bioaccumulation bioaccumulation and the important thing to remember is that the higher up the food chain you go the more harm that is caused to the living things in the food chain so that's it this is an outline of pollution in food chains how it can be built up along a food chain and with a specific example of something called bioaccumulation which can commonly occur when for example chemicals are used on crops an example of the chemicals being insecticides that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.